Hi, I'm Pat Barnard, Group Managing Editor for TMCNet, coming to you from IT Expo West in Los Angeles. And joining me is Michael Bonchbach, Vice President of Pulse. Hi, Michael. How are you doing today? Hi, thank you. Have Welcome. Yes. So why don't you start off by giving us a brief overview of Pulse, what you guys do? Well, Pulse is a supplier of enabling technologies for next generation networks. Okay. And basically what we do is we provide innovative solutions uh, for carriers, service providers, and enterprise uh, companies. Okay. And we have eight offices across major cities in the USA to serve those customers. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you were telling me that you're seeing a lot of growth in your business, and one of the things that you told me about was this new uh, SMS uh, uh, feature that, uh, that uh, these uh, mm -hmm. car dealerships are yeah. using. Go into that again. I'd love to hear that okay, again. Okay, great. Well, um, actually it is. It's a high growth market for us right now, and uh, what we have is a SMS gateway, uh, and it allows the average business or service provider to send SMS messages, which in today's world, in the marketing world, uh, has an 86% retention rate versus a standard 2 to 5% in a, in a printed media type environment. Right. So this is becoming one of the driving forces in most small businesses. Mm -hmm. In the case that I was telling you about, uh, we had an auto dealership that came to us and said, look, we want to increase our sales for our cars. And one of the ways that we'd like to do that is to grab the attention of the people on the lot because we watch them walk off. So how can we do that? Right. So we introduced the SMS gateway to them. And basically what it did for them is allow the typical person coming on the lot to go up to the car, see the sign on the car, dial this number, and immediately on their phone they would get the information about that car. Mm -hmm. And at the same time it's emailing the sales rep. So uh -huh. that later that day, he has the phone number and the car that that person was listening and can call them later and say, hey, I saw you looking at that car. Wow, that's great. And it probably uh, could also send them a message saying, hey, I'm wrapping up something right now. If you just stick around for a little while, I'll come out and I'll, that's right. I'll show exactly. you more. That's right, exactly. You can tailor it any way you want. It's totally standards-based. So okay. it can communicate with any type of standard program or web uh, page that they have. Uh -huh. No okay, problem. Great. All right, great. So tell me about the types of service providers that are making use of your, of your uh, products. Uh, typically, we work with smaller to medium-sized service providers, mm -hmm. and they're always on the lookout uh, for some type of service. And basically, uh, they, they're looking, at, let's say, for clouds. We were talking about clouds. This yep. is one of the big pushes right now within the smaller to medium-sized providers. Sure. And with our device, once again, it's standards-based, it can interface with that cloud. So not only can they provide that cloud, it can also interface with our box and provide an additional service and generate more revenue. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, do you uh, work with these service providers to develop uh, uh, products? Um, in, in other words, do you, how, do, how does that work? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, some providers come to us and say, you know, we know, we know what we want to do. We have all the programming. We know how to do it. Uh, we just need a device. So we we can do that for them. Okay. At the same time, we have others that come to us and say, look, can you tailor something to us? Can you adjust something? Can you provide this feature? Mm -hmm. And we'll work with those service providers and build that feature for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. I understand that you've been seeing pretty good uh, uh, traffic over at your booth um, here at IT Expo. Mm -hmm. I, yes, despite the uh, economy, we uh, thought for sure that uh, it would be a little bit downtrodden today, but or yesterday, right. but uh, we were very surprised. We had a full booth pretty much the whole day, uh -huh. so the show has been excellent. And, and what are most of the people who are coming by your booth asking you about? Uh, uh, most uh, of them are looking, we, we have uh, unique solutions besides the SMS gateway, so they're asking about the different uh, devices that we have there because we're a little bit different. We still believe in the old blinking light situation uh -huh. with equipment versus just a sign that just says, hi, we're a software company or something of that nature. Right. So they're always stopping by and saying, hey, what, what, what's that thing do? Uh -huh, right. And once they learn about it, they're, they're impressed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The reason why I asked that is because of what you said before in terms of being, you know, working in, in terms of developing mm -hmm. specifically tailored and, uh, products. And I was just wondering if maybe people were coming to you and saying, well, would you be able to do this? And maybe sort of exploring what your capabilities are in terms of developing. Uh, exactly. New in fact, in fact after they come to the blinking lights, you know, <laughs> right. uh, they basically... Uh, once they start hearing about it, they go, oh, wait a minute. It, things start going off in their head, especially about the SMS gateway. It just goes off in their head, and they go, you know, I could do this or I could do that. Could, could you make this happen? Uh -huh. And they're, they're very surprised to find out how easy it is to make this happen. Uh -huh. Okay, great. And where are you guys based out of? We're, we're, our office is based out of Temecula, California, but okay. we have eight offices across the U.S. 
uh -huh. in major cities from the East Coast to the West Coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, how does a, a company like such as yours um, go about uh, with the sales model? I mean, how do you build your business? Uh, well, we were early adopters of uh, web pages back. We're, we're f 15 years old, so oh, okay. we go back uh, pretty far. And while everybody else was just busy, you know, doing the you know, straight to the office and knocking on doors, uh, we already were building websites and 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 building them from the start. So they've progressed to now where we have. Uh, uh, our website is over 3,000 pages, mm -hmm. filled and chalked with information uh, and ways to contact us. We're infiltrated throughout the world, in fact, because early on I infiltrated all of our website pages into the web pages that were across the world, so they built up these links. Okay. And, of course, we all know the search engines. So right. that's our major source yeah. of, uh, of marketing. Right, sure. But besides that, we have uh, word of mouth and manufacturers love us. Uh-huh. So... They're always providing us leads. Okay. So you don't have a sales team that goes out and does a direct pitch to, like, these service providers that are out there? No, they actually do that as well. Oh, they do? Okay. I was just uh, saying that that's our primary right. way of, okay. of dealing with it. Right. But we also have uh, uh, a full sales force. They're very technical and business trained at the same time. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about the, the types of providers that you're seeing the most traction with. Uh, t types of providers are typically... Uh, voice over IP providers, okay. uh, cable operators, right. and uh, local uh, uh, co-ops, uh -huh. telephone companies. Right. Those are some of our you know, oh. growing markets. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Good. Yeah. Okay. We've been talking to Michael Bonchbach, Vice President of Pulse. Thanks mm -hmm. very much for joining us today, Michael. All right. Thank you, Pat.